today and today I'm going to show you a part of Emine Historical Peninsula. The Historical Peninsula is really really important for our culture. There's many many histories and cultures that's because I want to show you the Historical Peninsula part by part. I'm going to make a series. Now I'm on the Galata Bridge and Galata, uh, uh, Galata Bridge is located in a really important place. Why I saying that as you can see here is the historical peninsula and on the on the right on my right side there is Galata there is Karakoy and I showed and tell you the importance of Karakoy in my video and on my right side you can see the Galata uh, tower too that's because it took the name of Galata bridge that's it I guess and now I'm going to let me give you a brief about Galata bridge and I'm starting Galata Bridge was constructed at the entrance of Golden Horn. As you can see, my left side is Golden Horn and my right side is Marmara Sea. It was constructed in 1845 by the mother of Sultan of the Middle East. During the day, the bridge constantly flows of Istanbul crossing from Eminönü to Beyoğlu. A clutch of hopeful anglers trailing their lines into the water below. As you can see, in the morning there are many fish in there and they are catching the fish like this and putting it into the tops. vardır diye düşünüyorum. Hadi ya, o kadar. Ne balı? Sabır. Nerede bu? Gelecek bay 25 metre falan değil mi? Hadi ya. It's down the 25 meters down and I saw the fish. <gülüyor> They're coming! Here you go. 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 At the beginning of the 16th century, it was decided to build a bridge here. Leonardo da the, the Vinci plan designed a bridge here, but for technical shortcomings, it's impossible to be build a bridge like to here and after that an Italian architecture Michelangelo they wanted to build a bridge from Michelangelo but Michelangelo refused the offer this bridge has a really symbolic link between Galata and the Eminönü districts why I am saying that because in the past the Galata district non-Muslim traders and diplomats were living in Burda and the Eminönü part the Muslims were living in this part in this respect this bridge connected these two different cultures with each other in addition to Espeyan Mustafa states in his novel that a person who went from Fati the old sex to Barbia the new section set foods in a different civilization and different cultures its romantic appearance has also been a subject of many paintings and engravings 
it was my first experience and fishing is really exciting for me and it was really super surprised I wasn't planning to fishing but it was really nice it can be my hobby But when they're open, they are, they are so crowded and expensive for the location of these restaurants. fish and bread as you can see there is fish salad and onion inside and I've got my pickle juice and there is pickles inside I don't like the pickle juice but I like these pickles really nice let's taste it wow how much is this this is in Turkish liras 20 Turkish liras and it's approximately three dollars for just some bread and this was four liras it means just a a piece of penny for, for you this is really cheap for you but in my opinion these are get really expensive it wasn't like this I hate came here with my grandma and my little sister here when I ate my first fish sandwiches there and it was really cheap for this time uh, you know the inflation our economy is getting awful day by day now let's let's eat it and eat tasty and talk tasty <laughs> Mm. I've never eaten fish sandwiches in, in the morning. This is my first time to, to and this is a little bit cold. I don't know why. <sighs> Let me eat it close the camera. It's time for pickles. <laughs> this is cucumber pickle. <laughs> I'm not going to drink this <laughs> because I don't like it, but I like the pickle. Nobody can judge me that's because I'm drinking pickle pickle juice. I hate the pickle juice, but I love the pickle. This is really ridiculous. I know this, but this is me. 
exact, exact me who am I? And now I'm going to eat. Would you like to eat something? No, it's not doctor. <laughs> Eating fish bread on the bridge is not just feeding your stomach, it's also a part of Istanbul culture. Istanbul has become such that its seven hills are now invisible. Historical artifacts were dropped between concentrary buildings. Eminönü, Karaköy and its surroundings are the last remaining parts of the city. Okay, now we're in front of the Zindan Han. The Zindan Han is one of the biggest hands among its time. It's Western style. It was built in 19th century and it was built by the Byzantine emperors. Ta -da -ta -ta -da! Before starting my topic, you, I would like to say something about place. As you can see here is the tower uh, which was by Byzantine Emperor time, this only wall that contains and here is the Zindan Tower as I in front of you talk about it. But as you can see, uh, here is they made this place as a car park. Imagine that this is a really historical place. There is history there and they are not respectful in this for this one. And then you're just putting parking your cars onto the pier and this is ridiculous. I just can't get onto my mind. I'm going to tell you the Jafar Baba Tom and the tower. Now, Baba Jafar Tower, which was a dungeon where citizens who could not pay money from someone in the Ottoman period were improved. The doctors shout from the small window of this place how much they have done. Philosophers or those who made want to have a job save them by paying their debts. Okay guys, now we are in front of the Eminu and I would like to tell you some briefings about Eminu. Before starting our video, I told you that Eminu is really historical and includes many cultures and because I'm going to tell you in a video series, but I'm going to give you just a small brief about it. And it's really important for us. It's really includes many cultures, many civilizations. Golden Horde is my on this side and the Neve Mosque is on my this side. For how many years? I don't know, it's restorating and Galata Tower is on my opposite side behind the Egyptian Bazaar and there is seagulls and there is boats everywhere every day this place is really clouded because of the corona there are less people right now here but in general it's like this okay I would like to say to you a philosopher's words and then I'm going to play end up for today British philosopher Huxley says we always think that development is ahead we never look back it's all for today guys I hope you enjoyed our video and the topic I have really fun while shooting this video please do not forget to subscribe like and share and you can follow my Instagram here and that's all for today see you bye bye